We know that Democrats have all but encouraged the caravans by blocking funds to build the border wall. And we also know that there are groups of liberal activists who are helping these caravans with supplies and legal help to cross the border. But another man is really to blame for our new border crisis and the 20,000-strong caravan. A powerful president. From the Washington Times. US officials said Mr. Trump's frustration has flared after the Mexican government of Andres Manuel López Obrador took office in December. Trump is mad, and he's not going to let the Mexican president get away with it. President López Obrador broke with his predecessor by welcoming Central Americans into Mexico. He's gone as far as offering them assistance and visas. This has all but ensured migrants can easily move through Mexico and attempt to jump the American border. Border arrests have surged from 60,000 per month last year to more than 100,000 just this March. But Trump has vowed to stop the Mexican president in his tracks. And he's got three ways to stop him. First, he's getting more troops to our border. National Guardsmen will assist Border Patrol to secure our border and ports of entry. Second, he's punishing the Central American countries Mexico has allowed through their land by pulling billions in American aid. And third, if those measures don't curtail this fiasco, then he will simply shut down the border, preventing all trade and traffic entirely. And that's going to hurt. Many Mexican businesses would grind to a halt, and it would probably cost them billions. Trump is putting on the pressure, and now he needs Americans to support him as Democrats try to stop him 